Worst video by Elgin so far. So much nitpicking about how Piana formulates his sentences, but the truth is, he didn't say anything but common sense. So he fooled you too. Joking about him injecting Vaseline, sick. You used it wrong. While this has nothing to do with anything of what he is saying, is just childish ad hominem. Stop using words you don't know the meanings of. I didn't reject his argument based on some irrelevant facts about him. The cheap shots were separate, totally different. I addressed his points. <gasps> Felt like Elgin was really scraping the bottom of the barrel here. I think he only did this video because he doesn't like Piana rather than being against the supplement. Lol, POG do supplements. Don't see Elgin reviewing those. Rich didn't say anything overly ridiculous. I think Rich is a pretty smart guy. <sighs> well, shit, let's parse that. Doesn't like Piana. Uh, you don't have any proof of that. I only recently addressed him. POG do supplements, sure, but they're not trying to be consumer advocate to trick people into buying their shit. Rich didn't say anything overly ridiculous, just contradictory, which you would know if you had watched the video. And lol at the Synthalic accusations, yeah, he is injected with oil, but the guy skull crushes 225 and curls 225 LMAO, so I guess it's not just Vaseline then, ha. Huh? Whoopty fucking do, he does lifts that nobody gives a shit about. Elgin, are you getting desperate for views? Well, let's take a look at the views for a second. Nope, I stay winning on views and subs. So, facts are a bitch, aren't they? LMAO, only thing you refuted in his video is don't eat six times a day. He has never denied steroid use, you're pointing out the obvious there. I pointed it out to expose the contradiction of saying that all you need is food to be a good bodybuilder but he needed steroids to win a teen bodybuilding show. I put the clips right next to each other to show you that. Also, when he said that all supplements are the same, you can just close your eyes and pick one, but that his are mind-blowing and give you 15% gains, that was bullshit too. So maybe if your dumbass paid attention. Have to admit, this one was bad. Rich is full of shit on many topics, e.g. 8-hour arm workout, but this vid about food was straight legit and actually good advice. Two, he is open about steroid use right now and synthol use in the past, so you can't judge him about that. Again, I brought up the steroid use to refute his claim that all one needs to be a great bodybuilder is to eat real food. Because he couldn't be a great bodybuilder with real food alone. That's a huge contradiction. Also, you pointed out that some of the advice was legit, and it was. But, just because he was open about steroid use in the past, people are going to think he's honest in general. So when he does tell the truth about some things, his credibility that he gained with you allows him to slip bullshit in, and you won't detect it. That's the worst kind of bullshit, the bullshit mixed in with some truth. Rich Piana is my all-time favorite. His tips for arms for me has helped me grow. His steroid advice is very nice. I love his talks with Rick Drayson. I met him here in Australia and he's a nice bloke. If you met him in Persazan, I think you'd change your view on him. Elgin, I think that video was shit. Saying he's not intelligent, yet he doesn't have to work another day in his life from all his investment properties, his properties what, and finance background. A lot of points you made in the video were null. You got to admit that video was shit, brah. Right, wealth is not an indication of intelligence. I've had very wealthy clients who are complete fucking morons, and they shall remain nameless. I still think my video was awesome. Most people who disliked it simply have the reasoning skills of ants, and their bullshit detectors go fucking limp when someone they admire gets roasted. I laughed zero 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 times, upside down Spanish exclamation points. I'm pretty sure those go at the beginning of the sentence, dipshit. Good night, y'all. Crossfitters don't think my CrossFit episodes of Exercises in Futility are funny, like my Kipping Pull-Ups video, which is infamous at this point. But they're wrong too. You know why? Because nut huggers don't laugh at the nuts they hug. I'm pretty sure this dipshit is going to be right back next week to watch my videos, if he's not watching this one right now. This happened with my CT Fletcher video. A bunch of people got butt hurt. A lot of my regular viewers turned on me, but they came right back for more. Like a bunch of hoes getting slapped by daddy. So the views went up, the subs went up. All that means is if you don't like my videos, the joke's on you, because I get the last laugh. And that was your estrogen stack for the week.